The lesson is, mind your own business. Mind your own business. Robert Kiyosaki gives the third secret for becoming rich, mind your own business. Working for others. Learn to take care of your affairs. Take care of your own business. The third secret to becoming wealthy, according to Robert Kiyosaki, is to uh, mind your own business. Working for someone else. The majority of people work for someone else. Many of them have homes, cars, and loans that must be repaid. They work for money to enrich their employers. They work part-time for the government, which withholds income tax from their salaries. The next highest expense after taxes is usually their mortgage and loan EMI payments. A rise in their compensation leads to a larger income tax deduction. More salary often results in more credit purchases and greater EMI payments. By working harder, such people enrich the government, bankers, and other creditors. Financial difficulties are frequently the direct outcome of people working their entire lives for someone else. Many people will be unemployed at the end of the week. These folks must learn how to direct their greater efforts toward themselves rather than others. This can be accomplished by prudent investments in profitable assets, profession and business. There is a significant distinction between one's profession and one's business. Your vocation is frequently determined by what you study in school and college. You study medicine to become a doctor, then the law to become a lawyer. Too many people make the mistake of becoming what they study by forgetting to mind their own business. They spend their days minding other people's businesses and making them wealthy. In contrast to income, your business revolves around the assets on your balance sheet. The wealthy are concerned with their assets, whereas everyone else is concerned with his income statement. To be wealthy, you must have a business in addition to your vocation. Many poor and middle-class people have no financial base and must rely on their jobs to survive. They consider large mansions and other personal things to be assets. They recognize that these possessions are eating them alive at times of economic slowdowns, such as the one we are currently experiencing. Whether they have an income or not, these so-called assets cost them money every month in the form of mortgage and EMI payments. Minding your own business. Taking care of your affairs. Start minding your own business if you want to get wealthy. Maintain your position. However, begin by purchasing actual assets rather than obligations or personal possessions that will have no real value after you get them home. Reduce your liabilities, keep your spending modest, and work hard to establish a solid asset basis. Parents must teach their children the distinction between an asset and a liability. Encourage them to begin establishing a solid asset column before they marry, buy a house, have children, and become trapped in a precarious financial situation. What are real assets? What exactly are real assets? Kiyosaki mentions the following genuine assets as real assets. Transactions that do not necessitate your presence. You own them, yet they are managed or run by others. If you work there, it is your job, not your business. Stocks. Bonds. Investing in mutual funds. Property that generates income. Intellectual property royalties such as music, screenplays, and patents. Anything else with worth, income, or appreciation that has a ready market. Once a rupee enters your asset column, it never leaves. It becomes your staff, working for you 24 hours a day, and can last generations. You can buy certain pleasures as your cash flow grows. The wealthy are the last to purchase luxuries, while the poor and middle classes are the first. The wealthy purchase luxury last, whereas the poor and middle classes purchase them first. True luxury is a reward for investing in and growing a valuable asset. 